You know, it's been almost two years since nightly protests broke out in Lexington. Citizens here are joining much of the nation in speaking out against police brutality. A lot of change was enacted as a result of those protests, but some are still facing a legal battle because of them. That was the topic of a rally today in Lexington. LEX 18's Michael Burke has that. Faith leaders from across central Kentucky gathered here at Shiloh Baptist Church this morning. They came demanding that Fayette County Attorney Larry Roberts drop all charges against the protesters from the summer of 2020. Protesting is the language of those who are not being heard. Sarah Williams was one of the many who was trying to be heard two summers ago when protests against police tactics swept across America and landed in downtown Lexington. Ms. Williams was in court two weeks ago to affirm her desire to stand trial. She refused to accept the county's offer for a plea deal. Because I'm not guilty. Faith leaders agree with her. They don't feel as if anyone who protested is guilty of any wrongdoing, and they believe that any outstanding charges should be dropped, and the records of those who agreed to a plea should be expunged. The Lexington protests did not result in acts of violence or damage to property. The Reverend and his colleagues do agree that progress has been made in recent years, but it's hard to celebrate any of it when they say so many are still being vilified for helping to enact those very changes. Even when the charges around concerns and, and problems with police action, we, we just see that we still have a long way to go. Reverend Tyler also noted that Mr. Roberts is up for re-election and that next month's primary will decide his fate. He urged community members to get out and vote on May 17th. In Lexington, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News.